crazy round town. Okay. Rario. I like Ivory's look too. With the black trench coat thing with the big boots. She looked great in that intro. I forgot to mention that the last episode. She did. Not Melanie having big back Ivory swimming. I'm shocked. Ivory lost. Just for my opinion. Ivory lost. And it's okay. You can't win them all. Okay? You're still the queen of not STV for now. But she lost. Melanie won. The residue of the shrooms is still in her blood. So she still got that little crackhead strength in her. Right? She won. Shout out to the editors. <laughs> Shout out to the editors on this show. Like... And I'm not talking about the fights or any of that. Just the transitional scenes. Like, I'm a very detail-oriented person. So, like, I notice a little stuff like that. So, I like that. Just a little show. Like, the, the song that they play. Like, that brings back BGC-type vibes, which we all miss. Real-world vibes. So, little stuff like that is what I feel like Zeus is missing. So, shout-out to the editors for that. For real, for real. That's how you know Ivory took an L because she got very angry. And it's okay. Not every win you're going to take. Um, I just feel like Melanie should have stayed. I know I, I'm not a big fan of the bitch. But for the show purpose, I think it would have been more interesting. I don't know if she leaves. This is my first time watching it. I heard she leaves. So, I don't know. Don't spoil it in the comments, y'all. Twitch users. Why the camera's looking like that? Sorry, sorry. And that's the problem they be doing. Like, when it comes to the internet stuff with the girlies and stuff, that's why they need to keep the cast anonymous sometimes because that way the fuse could be more natural because now they beefing over DMs. See, I don't like this. And that's why Melanie did what she did to you, Ivory. Why are you holding her back? So she could hit her. That fight ain't got nothing to do with you. You just mad that Melanie and her shroom power got you, bitch. So you taking that out on Legacy. And Legacy, I'm mad at you too, bitch. Why the fuck would you hit her when Ivory so in close proximity to you and y'all know y'all gonna get to the house where well, you could have beat her ass right when y'all got out the bus? So you really set yourself up doing that. Not smart. First of all, this is unsafe than a motherfucker. Especially in the dark. You don't know who got what. Weapons, none of that shit. And they look like they're on the side of the highway. Where's Carly? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> it's giving Kai should be the host for next season, in my opinion. From what I've seen overall so far. And when it comes to the whole legacy thing, I blame her. Because why the heck would you hit her on that? But like, that to me was a smart. It's such a close capacity. And now that's TV. I should have had them in separate buses or had some of them riding in a car. Because that wasn't even a good scene for us to see because it was dark. So, like, we didn't even see anything. You know what I'm saying? The people in the Twitch comments were saying that Cass eats coochie and that Ivory... Um, it's her little piece. I mean, she's little. She's a piece for Ivory, like a little side piece for Ivory. Is that true? Let me find out Ivory is over here being a carpet muncher at a cast. I can see that. Mm. And nobody's going to get mad at Ivory for jumping in. There go 10-hour Charmaine. <laughs> It's the 10 hours for me. That's still crazy to me. Shea Benz talks in Hebrew gibberish. Like, the bitch, you don't know what the fuck is coming out of her mouth. She talks a thousand miles a minute. Like, damn, slow down. I don't hear, I can't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. Like, at all. And here's the thing with Sav. She does talk a lot of shit in her confessionals. 
But I don't think she's scary either. I will say that. I can tell she's not a scary person. She's a shit talker. She ain't been like, oh, but it was talking about like, I don't know if I like that. We just talking about like, you feel me? Like, it put it with a motherfucking queen on. Like, and I put a motherfucking queen on. I put a motherfucking snapback on. So I call like, shit, bitch. That's talking about I was like, yeah, you're reckless, bitch. You feel me? Like, yeah, like, it's Shay Vance, nigga, bitch, the fuck. And that was the word by Shay Vance. Did you pick up what I was saying? Probably not. Someone says that Shay Vance talks like the pig from Looney Tunes. <laughs> I hate you guys. Ivory is just like Krishan. My whole thing is you kept calling them boring. She showed you she wasn't boring because she threw a drink in your face and made things very interesting. Had it not been for Legacy, the first couple of episodes would have been a snooze fest because she actually turned up. She made it not boring. So you should be satisfied and happy with her and say, thank you for making it interesting. Thank the bitch. Ivory is Krishan. Of not as TV. Period. Nah. Ferrari is really not going to be the host next season. All we get from her in this show now is just reaction shots. What the fuck? Ivory just beat her ass. Fuck. Nas just popped the fuck out of Leg Legacy. Whoa. I put that pussy down. Ah. That's all we get out of Ferrari. You can tell she's not going back next season. Damn. Now, let's talk about the shades. Uh, Y'all know me. I've said this a million times. I love clothes. That's one way to get in these clothes. Okay? So, I would have reacted the same way as that girl did with the shades. Especially if they're a designer. Bitch, give me my shit because I don't want you to think that they're yours. Because that's how people, oh, let me borrow it. Next thing you know, they go home with it. You never get it back. No, bitch. Okay, but do I think that she's doing it for camera time? Yes. Legacy, you just don't want to show that one wonky eye. Because you got that one wonky eye because of Ivory. Or Cass. So you got that one wonky eye that you don't want to show. And it's okay. I don't have a P.O. box. I am going to set up one. If you want to send something to me, let me know. I'm going to send it to another address. I'm playing. <laughs> For real, though. I need to set up a PR box. Now, uh, Naj, I know you want that host position so bad. But let me tell you what made me not consider Naj anymore. Ivory. The fact that she didn't tell Ivory, oh, you wrong for that, for jumping in, that made me lose a little respect for her. Because you know that was their wrong. Regardless if she didn't fuck with the girl or not, at that moment, you didn't have to jump in because she was already getting her ass beat if we were really going to keep it a buck. That cast girl was knocking the Mario coins out of Legacy's head. The bitch lost her Legacy by the time that fight was over. So, yeah. That's what made me not consider Naj anymore. I think Kai should be the host. Child, that Blue GC5 reunion is long overdue. If y'all don't know Blue Girls Club, that's where Cuzzo came from. And uh, Shay Bands, I think, was supposed to be on Blue Girls Club at one point or something to that effect. That damn reunion is long overdue, okay? Now, if they, like, if they get Alexis pretty ass on that show, I'll be shocked. I don't know what was said. I know she walked over there. Finally, somebody said something. Like, I Finally, Sav is speaking in the house to another girl. About an issue and not in a confessional. Wow. Rare sight. No, it's just, I, I, I just... Then, Crystal, why was you doing all that popping it online with that chihuahua fur that you took from the little puppy on Instagram, making it seem like Sav never said nothing to you when she did say something to you? That's confusing. They talk about black on black crime, but bitch, this day we never talk about Mexican on Mexican crime. <laughs> That's a new race theory we need to study. Oh, I don't agree with this damn fucking argument. At the end of the day, Adriana left because she had 304 duties to fulfill. Let's not make it seem like she just left because she felt so uncomfortable that she couldn't stay in the house anymore because of little Chihuahua Crystal. 
Crystal wouldn't have done anything to her because every time Crystal ran up, damn, uh, Adriana bopped and slopped her, okay? So let's not try to make it seem like she out here just pushed Adriana up out the house. Adriana left because she wanted to leave the house, okay? She had in theory for uh, um, duties to fulfill. She wanted to get to the bag. Naja speaking up about this because she is the queen of pulling up as we see over the weekend when her opponent drove in 10, 10 hours. No offense. Imagine getting life advice from Naj. No shade to Naj, but like, bitch, I'll be damned. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would be fucking damned if I get any life advice from anybody on that SCV. Bitch, you can't teach me shit that I don't already know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, like, man. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Now, for all you know, damn well you wouldn't square with no damn ivory. That bitch was flicky with her thumb. She and also, why you throwing shade at Legacy talking about her 20 density wig? Legacy, you need to pop a Ferrari at the reunion for trash talk you behind your back. That's the messiness in me. <laughs> We're gonna play a shot game next episode. Every time Naj says, I don't wanna step on Ferrari toes. <laughs> Every time Nash say she want to step on his Ferrari toes, we're going to take a shot. Nash say that every damn episode. <laughs> I swear to God. This is the most dialogue we've ever seen on that STV. It's the growth for me, okay? Now, the only thing I don't agree with, Crystal, you said we're all 21 and up. That's not true. Okay, <laughs> but I do agree with what she's saying where she came in the house at least trying to be cool with everybody except for the girl she had beef with. So, like I said, I think Crystal's a really nice girl. I just don't see her being like this baddie or bad girl. She gives me more so like real world, big brother vibes. Damn, Melanie, Legacy, y'all let Big Back Ivory win. I'm not happy about this. I just feel like them going home, y'all just let Ivory take the W, and now she's probably going to be the host next season, which I'm not surprised. So, yeah. You never let nobody win by having them see you quit or leave. Why I think I'm still covering out STV, bitch? Let me stop. <laughs> no, like, for real, like, you don't do that because you automatically let, like, the opposition win. So, fuck! And I don't even like Melanie. But still. And Naj, why are you saying all this negative stuff when neither of them did anything to you? I got, I got shot, shot in my, in my coochie. coochie. The way she said it about Ivory saying that Ivory shot her her coochie and she shoots really good. It's given that you fucked Donye too, Mima. Let me find out. That damn KP, she's so damn busy. She was just like, man, I'm just getting shot like all over. Like, I'm just like... I'm getting shot in the head. I'm getting shot in my bed. Like I'm just getting shot all over. Like I thought the paint, the the paintball paint was like frosting off of a cake. So I like lick and I'm like, ew, it tastes like paint. And I'm like, that's real paint. She's so ditzy. <laughs> I guess Ferrari thought we would think that she's a hard girl by give, putting a hat and turning it backwards. <laughs> Tough ass bitch, Ferrari. And the way she talk about them girls, they gonna jump you at the reunion, bitch. <laughs> Shout out to them having doing real activities instead of getting cooped up in the house. <laughs> By the way, Kai, when she wears her natural hair, she looks way better than when she wears a weave. When she wears a weave, she looks like a basic bitch. When she wears her natural hair out with the curls and everything, she looks like a bad bitch. Just a note. <laughs> Y'all heard Nah, she said, my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. That bitch thinks she RuPaul. Let me tell y'all something. Nah already thinks she's the host of this show. So she's trying to carry like she the host of the show. And Ferrari's letting her. But this chicken ordeal is crazy. Now that is poultry. Now that 
is not vegan. Queen Mima! Okay? My whole thing is with the whole chicken thing and the whole ordering. Y'all, Naj really should have been mad at production when she said she was, but she should have just ignored her completely because at the end of the day, they were trying to instigate because it's not that set up by letting her get through her phone and not the rest of the cast so they could get mad at her. They know what they was doing. Ain't no bitch finna talk to me crazy. Bitch, we gon' fight every day now. And I gotta beat you again. If I had to pick one girl that I think doesn't belong in the house, it would have to be Shay. That girl did not get her look back from no For that bitch to come ruin my Popeye's meal, the ghost pepper wings with the new sauce, I just couldn't let that go. Let me tell you how reckless that shit got, right? They don't call that bitch Mima for nothing, okay? Now, if she done gave you a... Su Next week, it look like she giving Naja southern, uh, southern fried chicken ass whooping. Collard greens ass whooping, ho. That's crazy. Are we finally going to see somebody knock down Naj? We might. I like her. I didn't think she had that in her. I ain't going to lie to you. Wow. This was a good episode. They actually went out. They did things. So I like this episode, all right? Let me know what y'all think down below. And we out. Ain't no personal thing.